Hmm, get a tragic here. And. Oh, oh, look at this. It's another little box. A little tiny box. What could this little tiny box be? Oh, can I open this? Holding it in this weird way. Frontiers, the outer belt. I thought, basically, I've been playing Alien Frontiers, as you can see, and I thought, oh, you know, maybe I should get the outer belt just to complete the game. And it's pretty hard to find now. And it just so happened that there was some at Mighty Ape, which is a store in New Zealand. And then we had two copies of it. So I thought it would be a good idea just to quickly grab it. So what the way this works is, there's like a new board. And this is like the asteroid belt, okay? And it's sort of like a rotating card pool that slides down here and they slide off slide off the base I think oh cute little tuck boxes and oh, another set of dice for another player And what have they given us? A whole bunch of stuff. Now this is interesting because, yeah, open, open, damn you! All right, so we've got some more faction cards. There's the asteroid cards. We've also got a couple of new alien tech cards and some new faction agenda things. And these are like more powers that you can get, like uh, alien tech cards. This one says discard three and pay one of your ships to move it from the stocks. Nice. Change one unplaced die to two or three, maybe once a turn. Hmm. So yeah, these are just basically kind of like extra weird cards that you can buy. Discard this card to pay one to receive two or. Wow, that is a freaking awesome card, that one. It also comes with a new location. This must be, you know, it must be like a place you can actually build a colony to get access to the outer belt. The interesting thing is, I can also now use these. This is a, one of the upgrades I got from Kickstarter was the promo upgrade, which gave me a whole heap of promo cards and this is promo pack six but I never shuffled it in because this is out of belt stuff Here's some more agendas or factions this has probably got something to do with the belt yeah asteroid cards and a whole bunch of extra asteroid cards that I already had Nice. That's a cute little expansion. I'm not quite sure. A lot of blank ones to make our own stuff. I'm not quite sure how good this is going to be to play though. Uh, 
like I said, I think Alien Frontiers is a game that's kind of overblown. It's got too many expansions. But I just thought I'd pick this up and basically this is adding a rotating offer, which as you know is one of the more annoying kind of offers in board gaming. So every turn you'll have to move your cards down this track. So it's going to add a little bit of extra stuff and it's also going to add some more AP problems because there's more choices and this game is already pretty AP heavy. So it just sort of goes on the side of the board like this, right? So while it does have a rotating offer and that's kind of annoying sliding cards around, I think it's going to really improve or I think it's designed actually for higher player counts. The game, the, the expansion came with its own new dice pool which I did not have. I have orange dice because I've got the ship upgrades. That's another player. And I think that brings it to six or seven players you can play now, which is a huge amount. But my point is, even in a four-player game, we've had a couple of turns where there's not much to go. I mean, once you build your ships, you don't go here. If you're not rolling higher than here, you can't go here. You don't get straight, you can't go here. So there's a lot of, sometimes you have rolls where your dice aren't doing a lot for you, especially at higher player counts where there's more people docking everywhere. So as you can see, not only do these things, these things require dice to lock in to activate as you fly into the asteroid and access whatever ability it has. And there's a, that's the little location where you build your base. So it's going to give more places to dock your ships and I think that's going to really help uh, larger player count games. Still, next time I play I'll give that a go. And it's got the same kind of just awesome art as always. Right, out of belt. Nice. See you guys next time.